In today's video, we will dive into the fascinating world of white balance and explore its vital role in transforming your photographs. But what exactly is white balance? In simple terms, it is the adjustment of colors in your image to neutralize any unwanted color casts. Imagine this, you've captured a breathtaking landscape only to find that the colors appear unnatural. That's where the white balance comes to the rescue. It's a fundamental aspect of photography that allows you to accurately represent the colors in your scene, ensuring that white appears white and all the other hues are faithful to reality. That being said, while the intention for white balance is to fix color casts, it can also be used in a creative way, specifically adding color for color grading purposes. Now let's take a closer look at this tool. The white balance adjustments are found under the basic settings in Lightroom and the Camera Raw Editor. The main settings are the two temperature and tint sliders. We also have a bunch of different white balance presets and the white balance selector tool for a precise color correction. First, let's try to set the correct white balance. This can be done in a lot of different ways. First, we can rely on Lightroom's ability to automatically do this. Click on the preset drop down menu and choose Auto. In a lot of cases, this works just fine to get the right white balance, but I would not blindly rely on it. We can also try setting the white balance ourselves by adjusting the sliders. Of course, you will never get 100% correct white balance, but you can get quite close. A helpful trick I learned over the years is to pay close attention to the histogram while adjusting the sliders. Take a closer look, you can see a bunch of different colored graphs in here. If I shift down the temperature more towards the colder side, you can see the colors spread farther apart. The blue color cast is indicated by the blue graph kind of being separated from the other colors. In order to fix the color cast, we want to bring all the colors as close together as possible and thus neutralize any extremes. So that would mean I just raise the temperature and you can see how those colors up there in the histogram are getting closer and closer to each other. Until there comes a point where it flips in a different direction and colors start to separate again. The right white balance should be somewhere around here where all the colors are aligning quite nicely. Of course, we can not only use the temperature slider to adjust things, but also the tint slider. So keep that in mind. The third way of achieving an accurate white balance is the white balance selector tool. Click on the eyedrop icon, then hover over the image. You will see a hugely magnified preview of the pixels you're hovering over. Below this preview, you see different values for red, green, and blue. For an accurate white balance, you want to pick a neutral pixel. This means the values of red, green, and blue should be as close together as possible. Once you've found a good spot, just click on it and Lightroom will change the temperature and tint accordingly. Okay, but as I said earlier, you don't necessarily have to use the correct white balance. Sometimes playing around with the temperature and tint will give you great results, although the colors are incorrect. Usually for sunsets or sunrise shots, I tend to bring up the temperature more, giving the image more intense warmth. For this particular image, the correct white balance, just like it is right now, is way too warm. So what I want to do is to have some cold blue tones in the sky and the foreground to create some nice color contrast. This means I want to bring the temperature down a notch. Just until I find a spot that is looking good to me. And once I found the right spot, just like this, I will use that as a base for the upcoming color grading later in the editing process. I want to give you another example with this Aurora shot. Right now, with the Aurora being the light source, you can see a very heavy green color cast. So what happens if I set the white balance to auto is Lightroom will kind of get rid of most of that green color cast and just give the image a more natural look. However, personally, I think it looks much more awesome when everything's a lot colder. So what I want to do for this shot is to bring down the temperature. Now the colors might not be accurate, but the image looks so much better with the intentional blue color cast. And that is also because the coldness just fits the winter scene quite well. 
So with this video, I not only wanted to share how to set up a correct white balance, but I also wanted to point out to not follow certain rules too strictly. I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. As always, if you have questions left, feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video.